Hey guys, we are in the basement and today we're going to do a John's Arcade on the road. That is right, we're going to get in the car and take it right over to my friend Dan's house. And let me tell you something, Dan has something very special in his garage right now. Because you see, about 32 months ago, that's right, 32 months ago, my friend Dan put a deposit on a Jersey Jack... Emerald City Limited Edition Wizard of Oz pinball machine. And we have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this thing to show up. And guess what? It is here today. It arrived at Dan's house today. So we're gonna go over there, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna set it up, and we're gonna play it. And I cannot wait to see this game. And it's pretty exciting too, because we got a new player. Jersey Jack is a new pinball company, and this is their first release. So man, does, I really hope this game lives up to the hype. So let's get into the car and let's take a ride over to Dan's Arcade and check out his Wizard of Oz. All right, Dan, here we are, man. You got it. Yeah, a couple times. Please. Yeah, yeah. Dan, it's yeah. here. The pinball is here. Yeah. When did you order this, by the way? February. February when? <laughs> February of February. what? February. February. Just February. Yeah. February. February of what? 2010? 11? 2011. Okay, so Dan ordered this pinball machine February of 2011. When did you give Jersey Jack all the money for it? Uh, it was over the course of a year. Okay. So by the end of 2012, you had paid, paid this off? Yeah. And it took them this long to make this game and, and get it here. And it says this is game number 727. Is that all they've made? We, Do you think? No, but it's less than, we, we got to pick that number. Oh, you did? Yeah. What's the significance you, of that? Is that your ATM code? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the E-C-L-E-W-O-Z. What is that? Emerald City Limited Edition. Wizard, Wizard of Oz. Of Oz. Yeah. So this is like the super deluxe version. Yep. Another one's coming. Good. Well, it's, it, I'm, it, they did a great job packing it, right? I mean, it got here in one piece. Yeah. Dude, I'm actually getting kind of excited here. Jersey Jack pinball. So let's get this thing open. Oh. <laughs> Dan. Yeah, right here. Here's my instructions. Right here. Look at that. Pinball and boxing. Wow. Nice. Speed go. All right, so we got the box open here, and we had to cut open the flap here, and the plan is to put the legs on and then tilt it out, but the legs are pretty special. Look at this. They're all like sparkly green. They're emerald green. And so in this little box here, this parts box, was the legs, the cord, there's leg levelers, and there's a topper, so we have to put all this stuff on. But I'm pretty impressed with the finish on everything, though. That's sick. Yeah. And then look at the cabinet here. It's got like this clear coat on it. Um, whereas like Stern, they just put these vinyl decals on here and that's it. This thing has like an automotive clear coat, almost what's on the play field. It is what's on the play field. Like on the cabinet. Yeah. It just really pops. Wow. And here on the coin door, it has, uh, our friend Lorenzo actually did this, right? The, uh, yeah, he did the, he did the sound system. What, what does he call this? The pin? Innovators. Pin innovators. Uh, Sully. Sully and Lorenzo. Um, this here has a headphone jack and a volume up and down. So you can plug it in here and get like, uh, you know, stereo sound in your he headphone. So, all right, we're going to keep going here, get this thing together and hopefully play a game soon. 
So basically, like I said, the plan is to put two legs on, one here, one there, and then tilt it back. And then we'll lift up this end then and put the, uh, the back legs on. Right, so we're about to put the topper on which is right here and it has like pre mask on it right now on the back here but it's gonna mount to this bracket right here and inside here if you could see there's actually LEDs and so this is gonna go on here like so and then the LEDs are kind of gonna light up this plexi which should be a pretty cool effect so we're gonna go ahead and screw this on right now all right so we have the bracket off here and you can see all the LEDs and so basically this topper is going to go on here like so, right? And you're just going to, there's a bracket that goes behind it. Is that how it works? Yeah. 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 Cool. So let's tighten that down. Hey, I got to follow the yellow, yellow brick road back glass. Is that... They have so like, some of them don't have that? They have three different ones, three really? different sayings. Yeah, it's random which one you got. Oh, cool. And this is the Invisiglass. Yeah. I don't even see it. <laughs> Those pieces of paper are like floating on there. You ready? Yeah. Oh. Dude, this is a very pretty game. And look at this. This has like a wood apron down here with kind of facsimile signatures of all the, uh, the team. And this is number 727 of a thousand. This is not a clinking, clanking, clattering collection of collisionous junk. This is the Wizard of Oz. This is interesting that they put a free play sticker in a card in there. Yeah. That's really weird. Why did why would they assume that? If you were an operator, yeah. you could show proof that you were an operator. Uh-huh. And they would have, they would give you the cards. Plus, they would put a dollar bill acceptor in it to you for no cost. Oh, is that right? You had to prove you were an operator. Oh, interesting. Or that it was going to go on location. So the artwork on the side here, which is beautiful, by the way, it's it's different on both sides, right? So yep. this this side has the wizard and the balloon, the state fair balloon, and, and then on the and the lion on the head here. And on this side is a totally different scene. It's the yellow brick road with Dorothy and the. Uh, I don't know what, what, what is that. What witch is that? The good witch, Glenda, or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and the Tin Man on the head, and we got the that the uh, topper all installed, which is uh, has the wizard on there. So pretty cool, man. And the back glass is an actual mirrored back glass with a large open area here because there's a giant LCD screen in this that we're gonna see soon here. So, so let's get it into place and let's turn this bait bad boy on. Look at the toys on this thing. The witch, the forest, there's a, there's a flying monkey back here somewhere. Dorothy's house, it spins, it has, a, let's see, there's two flippers here that have ruby slippers on them. And then there's a flipper up here, so that's three flippers. There's a flipper here, that's four flippers. And there's a flipper here, that's five flippers. I mean, these days we're lucky to get like two flippers on a stern game. Or actually lucky to get three, right? And then there's a crystal ball. That crystal ball has like a little, it's like a TV in there, like a little LCD screen or something, Yeah. right? Yeah. So we'll be able to see little images projected inside this crystal ball. Very cool. So let's get it set up and get it into place. All right, so we're just about set up. So Dan's about to put the balls. How many balls are in this game? Five. Five balls? Five balls. And this is the Invisiglass, which is what, more transparent than normal glass? Yes. Do you really think it is? Yes. You think so? Yes. And you can't use like Windex on it, is that? Right. What do you have to use? What's it called? Sparkle? Was that yeah, your stage sparkle. name? Sparkle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a static. <laughs> Can you just keep, just keep that there so you can fly on the way out? I would, I would cry. If, the, if you broke that, the, this glass, glass is, is pricey, right? It's like three hundred dollars a sheet. Three hundred dollars a yeah. sheet, just for this glass. Something like that. And this is a wide body, by the way. By the way, so this is wider than your standard pin that we've seen the last ten years. Williams did a lot of wide bodies, like in the '90s, like Indiana Jones and Red and Ted's Roadshow. And if we take a look in here, you guys can see the PC. So all the hardware is actually down here. 
So there's a big metal case there. That's the computer. I just hope it turns on. Oh, it's going to turn on. Dude, that's pretty hardcore, that big aluminum case in there. Look at that. And uh, Jersey Jack used like old Williams parts, right? Yeah. Like the coils and stuff? Or did he? The flipper mechanisms. You know? The flippers are all, are all Williams hardware. So he didn't have to reinvent the wheel on, on, on that kind of stuff. He ended up getting a bunch of the Williams pads. And this is like a Suzo Hap coin door, um, but it does have the, the Pitivations uh, headphone jack thing here. It has a giant start button. That's a big start button. So we're just about ready to turn this on, and, and this is getting pretty exciting here. The boards are... All right, so we're plugging it in. And there's gonna be like a boot sequence here because this is a PC-based game. It's I don't not. Know how long it takes to boot up? Yeah, we're. I think it's relatively fast. Like. Are we gonna get like seconds. a Windows splash screen? You'll see. I'm sure you'll see a um, Linux or something. Is it Linux-based? Just a it motherboard Linux, bias. Yeah. It is Linux. So what are you doing? I'm. Uh, I'm getting ready to help. To, I gotta. It's gotta come back. I'm not gonna oh. turn it on right way out here. It's gotta come back. So. Oh. All right. All right. We're ready to turn it on. Here we go. The moment of truth. It's right here. Hold on. Does the game work? <laughs> oh. Okay, hold on. We've got lights. Hold on. Wizard of Oz. Hold yeah, on. Wizard of Oz. Oh. Wait. Who minds? Wait it's for my it. My pinball. <laughs> Wait. Not Whoa. Yet. Auto adjusting. Hold on, no, not yet, not this yet. We gotta wait till it's all on, bud. Daddy will tell you when. I'll tell you when, okay? When is it gonna be all on? Oh, huh? hey, that was a quick boot. Emerald City Limited Edition, oh, it says. It hold on, hold on. It's so the topper on. lit up there. So the LEDs it's are actually not. different colors, yeah, that's on, cool. Buddy. That was a really fast boot. All right, guys, we got the game all set up here. Before we play a game, though, I wanna like just kinda go over the little features and stuff in this game, because it really is loaded. Um, the first thing we notice here, though, it's got an LCD display, which is, this is like the first pinball machine with an LCD display, and Stern's kind of been promising this for a while, and they've never given it to us, so here it is, an LCD, and you know, you don't really watch it when you're playing the game, but it's still a, a pretty cool feature. I, Dan, do you think you're going to be looking at the LCD when you're playing the game? No, but I think it's more for other people. Yeah, it's, it's for the people watching the game. So, the game has a ton of color-changing LEDs, and while you're playing the game, like, every LED will be red or green, and it, it just it's very dramatic um, and like we mentioned before it's got like five flippers um, there's two down here uh, there's one right there there's one up here and there's one up here um, there is this house here that spins during one of the game modes um, there's a bunch of magnets in the game um, there's a magnet right here where this broom is in front of the witch and this witch actually is in the hole here you can see her hat and she'll pop up during the game um, it has this kind of like little I don't know, LED, plexi kind of effect thing with this green wizard head there. Um, over here, there's a crystal ball, and behind that is a little LCD screen, like almost like a little TV or something that projects a monitor into the into the ball. Um, we've got three pop bumpers right here with these little tree guys on them. Um, there's an upper play field up here with these doors that you bash, and they open up, and you get, kind of get the ball in there. Um, we've got some more pop bumpers, I think. Uh, no, there's not pop bumpers up here, Dan. There is one. There's a slingshot. There is one. Are you sure? It's the lower. You can't really see it. Okay, so there's a pop bumper hanging out up here. Um, we've got these targets here. Um, I guess the spell rainbow. Is that what you're trying to do? Mm -hmm. um, one of the kind of uh, really cool design things they did here is that uh, on this left drain, as you come down, there's actually a pop bumper here. You've actually lost the ball at this point, and this pop bumper here will actually hit the ball into these targets, and I guess there's an opportunity to maybe get the ball back, but otherwise it's going to kind of drain, and that's it. Um, and they also kind of customize the flippers here. Um, these flippers have ruby slippers on them, and they look, look like they're just maybe standard flippers with this kind of glued on the top of it. I don't know. But they molded them in this kind of... Uh, glittery plastic you can see that there um and this flipper as well too so it's it's almost like a, a semi-translucent plastic with glitter inside of it um and then there's these little huts here what are these munchkin houses yeah munchkin huts. Munchkin so munchkin huts. i don't know is there anything else that i'm missing here as far as features i mean it's got the nice wood apron which is kind of deluxe mm -hmm. anything else that we didn't uh, as far as we haven't hit the, the monkey hasn't 
Oh yeah, and there's a monkey back here. You can see this little, see that little black thing there? That's a track. And there's a little flying monkey, if you could see him back there. And during the game, that monkey is going to kind of, he grabs the ball, right? Yeah, and, and brings it up to the other Because there's a magnet back there, right there. See that Where magnet? Does capture Dorothy. Yeah, so the ball will, will be stuck on that magnet, and the flying monkey will come down. And then does the monkey drop the ball into the upper play field? Yeah, behind the, uh, behind the door where he's sitting now. And then does that door open? Yeah. Okay. That's kind of neat. And there is a bunch of magnets, right? There's a magnet in front of the witch where the broom is, right? There's like two, I think, and there, the play field in front of her, yeah. And there's a magnet over here. Mm -hmm. um, so there's all kinds of, you know, parts of the game where the game is grabbing the ball and doing things with it. When the, This magnet actually whips the ball, doesn't it? Yeah. It moves it? Does yeah. the magnet move under the play field, mm -hmm. maybe? Yeah. So, and of course, the game is all PC-based. It's not like traditional pinball hardware, like, you know, with a, with a logic board and stuff. It actually has a, a computer inside of it, a PC. And you can kind of see it inside here. Um, there's the big case for it. Um, I'm not sure what's in the back box. Are you? Is it just LCD? I think it's just the LCD. It's just the LCD. So the PC's underneath here. Uh, I think it's a Linux-based system we, t we were talking earlier. Shaker motor. And there's Oh, there is a shaker oh, motor, too. So this box right here that says high-velocity rotating parts, um, care must be used. So that's a shaker motor there. So the game shakes while you're playing it. Um, and that's really it. So why don't we set up a tripod here, and why don't we play a game of Wizard of Oz? All right, so Dan's going to play a game. And obviously, Dan, you have this game on free play, right? Yep. So... Yep. So uh, let's do it. Let's start a game. <laughs> now there's skill shots here? Four skill shots. So okay. uh, the first one is hit the lit Oz lane, which it's lit at random. Yep. You can't change it with the, the lane buttons. Okay. So uh, the second one is soft plunge to this upper flipper here. Yep. And hit the witch. Okay. Third one is soft plunge to the upper flipper and hit the red target in the haunted forest. Gotcha. And the last one is soft plunge, let it roll down to the lower flipper here, and hit the lit ball target, which on this is L. Okay, gotcha. So, we'll, All right, cool. uh, we'll try for that and fail miserably. You got it. Boom. Sweet. Alright, so what are you doing now? Just shooting, shooting the lit shots? Basically, yeah. Um, so you're in the upper play field now, that's cool. Yeah, for a second. I scared myself. Alright, so we started one of the witch hurry up. So we gotta try to hit the witch again. And we drink. So every time you hit the witch, um, you'll start a witch hurry up, basically. Okay. And it counts down the magnet. There's a magnet in front of the witch under the play field. Right. So the ball will go crazy every time you try to hit her. Um, once you complete three witch hurry ups, there's a new mode that was put into the latest code. Yep. Called Fireball Frenzy, um, which is pretty cool. So we'll see if we can get to that. And we'll uh, we'll try the uh, we'll try a different skill shot this time. Maybe we'll go for the lit Oz lane. And you can't change those targets up there. No, and I plunge way too hard. Anyway, so. That's that's hard. Hey. Yeah. No harm. I think they did a pretty good job with the audio in this. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, and, and they're not done with that. It's only going to get better. So locks lit for the regular multi ball. Yeah. So. We'll see if we can hit the uh stomach. And you've got these rollover targets over there? Yeah, the, the Toto out lane, I yeah. only hit three of them, so we didn't start the mode, but it does carry over. So you So can it's see possible to hit all four with one ball if you if you nudge, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um that's you a, see oh, the T is blinking. Yeah. So if we if we go out that out lane again, we just gotta make sure we try to hit that T. And then we have an option to or a possibility of saving our ball. Tree. Yeah, I, I've realized that this game is really brutal. So we knocked ball one. You know, I've yet to see the ball get to that play field. How do you get up there? Um How do you how do you get up there? That's a good question. <laughs> oh the diverter has so to that, be down. The diverter, but to yeah. trigger it, 
You don't know? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's cool though. I mean, I mean, I had my Simpsons for like a. It took me like a month and a half before I knew what was going on. Yeah. It seems like one of those kind of games. It absolutely is. Oh, you um, got the. Ah, uh, we didn't trigger. Yeah, so there's a pop bumper there in the left drain, which is pretty cool. Is that your last ball? That was, yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, it, it, man. Sometimes games are really, really fast. Do you want me to do another one? Yeah, why not? Ah, okay. We'll, we'll start another one up. So what do you think about the LCD though? I mean, do you think it's adding to this experience? I think so. I think for yeah. people watching, yeah. it, 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 it really adds a lot for them. Right. And the fact that you can you can hold the flipper down yeah. and you have these great status reports where you can get a ton of information in one shot, like your progress through the game yep. will show up here. That's cool. Which is really, really cool. Um, so it's, you know, on an old, DM, or I shouldn't say old, but on a DMD game, you actually have to flip through various screens to get all the information that you can kind of get in just one quick look. Yeah, so. and we should point out too, the scoring in this game is super low. It's super low. They yeah. basically dropped the last three zeros. Yeah. Right? So there's targets that are only worth, you know, one or two points. Yeah. And so the, the, the grand champion score on this is a million points. Right. You know? Whereas, like, the grand champion score on ACDC is probably, you know, a billion points, yeah. you know? So there's the witch skill shot. Okay. So the witch is coming up right there, if you guys can see that. And now we started one of the hurry-ups, which we just finished. Nice. And the magnet, you saw the magnet kind of grab the ball there. We drained, but we hit Toto. So you saved it. So we get one shot to the ah. ramp. And it, this is a timed mode. Does it turn the flippers off? Uh, if you run out of time. Yeah. All right. So it's kind of like the uh, an NBA fast break then. That yes, the million dollar shot. Yeah. And we're not gonna get it. Yeah. So it, it kills the flippers. And That's actually, cool, actually. I like that. And actually, I know you, you can't see it in the video, but in the crystal ball, yeah, it shows the hourglass, and you can see the sand ah. going down. Yeah, because this crystal ball's got a little little LCD like yep. screen in it, a little monitor. And right now it act and, and right now it says skill shot. It says skill shot. Yeah. So they they've started incorporating to the crystal ball kind of you know things Objectives. that are object well things that are going on at that moment in time where right. before it was just kind of looping different yeah. videos and stuff. Right. So, so it has they, a purpose. Yes. It's actually kind of cool. It's like this one little place you can look to see what to do what right now. Yep. You know? And uh and they say that that's only going to get better. Oh, so here's Toto again. Ah, uh, we should. That's actually, I love that because you. It really makes you want to nudge the cabinet to get now all. Now it's two. Now it's two shots though. Oh man. Oh wow. And I, I like how the all the LEDs went green. Yeah. It's, so it's, the whole play field's green right now, and yeah, you blew it. Yeah, we blew it. So Toto escapes. Toto. No, he didn't escape. Oh, well, he got caught. Oh, he's dead. All right, Dan. Should we uh, try another game? Yeah, let's uh, let's start another one up because those were kind of why not miserable. <laughs> so, and I just saw on the display the the grand champion score. Yeah, one million points. I know that's what I was saying. And it, I think it, I was averaging around twelve thousand. And that's the default score. Yeah. So, but like on a Stern or a '90s Williams game, you can get a million points in like, in like you know in like the first ball and like yeah. the first like you hit a pop bumper and you got a million points. All right. So, which still shot? But yeah, the color change LEDs they used on this, they, they seem head and shoulders above what Stern's doing over there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, oh, damn. And I think once you see it in person, that you really get the effect, you know? So he's in the upper play field there, which I really like. I, I yeah, I, I, and that reminds me of Simpsons for some reason. It's it's very similar to the, like the couch. Yeah, it's the just it, shot. it's kind of the act of looking up there too. It, like it feels like Simpsons, you yeah. know. And yeah, how it loops around back to the flipper over and over again. Ah. ah, all right. But it, it and it saves your progress down in the out lane. Yeah. 
So, so what happens if you get all those drop targets that are here? It goes into the there's no place like home mode, which is actually four stages, and yep. you can get an attempt to save your ball. So okay. We'll see if we actually run into that if we end up draining out that way. So it's pretty fun. There's like two outlane games almost. Mini, yeah, mini games. That yeah. You can get your ball, ball back. back. This one seems like you gotta beat the heck out of the cabinet. You really have to <laughs> nudge it when it gets down there, yeah. Yeah. If you wanna play three, get all Ah. Do you have to hit the door? Once it once it tells you to open the door. But I mean when you hit the door, does it oh, register as a hit it or something or no? The door just doesn't have a, a switch in it, does it? The door um like medieval madness or something. It, it, it does where it, it yes it ha I believe it has some sort of like opto sensor or something okay. so when you when you hit it it'll actually give you the sound effect for yeah. backing into it. So how do we make this house spin? <laughs> uh, oh hold on. Oh shit. Crap. We missed one. Yeah. Um, the house spins is you know that's a great question. You don't know. I. <laughs> I, I know, I know. you just got it, it right? It, when it tells you that, that it will, right. but um, well, here, oh, okay, collect rainbow. So we, ah. have to, we have to hit the W to light twister. Once All right, let's twister, try to do that. Okay, so we have to hit that last that last target here. So let's see if we can get it on a soft one. Maybe. Here we go. You got it. So now we have to get it up the ramp. Okay, cool. Have the power to my ball. Shit! Don't drain. There we go. No! Oh, okay, we're good. Center post. All right. Come on. It's always a lot of pressure when you're trying to hit a certain shot. Yeah, I know. Even if it's an easy shot. There we go. There we go. Okay, so... Oh, no, you locked the ball. Uh, maybe the ball lock over overrode it? Uh, it says Twister's ready still, so the, the lock overrides it. Okay. Which I guess makes sense. That wasn't a fair fight. Yeah, it says Twister. And we oh. just... God damn. This game's hard. It's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> so we really haven't done anything. I mean, no. we, you know. But you know what? There's a lot to do. We just haven't done any of it. <laughs> right. So, right. I don't know. I think that's... That kind of gives everybody an idea how this game works, but I, I don't know. I mean, it, I'm really impressed overall with the quality of the game. I know you had some issues, and by the way, guys, it, it's actually been a few days since the initial unboxing. I came back here to do the gameplay video, um, but you had a few issues after opening it out of the box, right? Like I the, did, the yeah. headphone jack stopped working or well, never it, worked. It never worked, so they're, they're yeah. sending me the, the the boards to change right. to fix that. And the diverter here is kind of chewing into the ramp. I don't know if you guys can yeah. see that. There's I a, mean, there's a black diverter back here that that brings the ball right. So that's chewing so into the ramp. I, I had to adjust it back. It was kind of did you angled. bend it? Or? Uh, I kind of just bent the whole mechanism a little bit. But you could see that nice scratch there in it that ramp. A that's a little irritating. Um, <laughs> and then you had a problem with the monkey too, right? The Flying monkey back the here. The monkey was coming up and it was actually rubbing against the door mechanism where the door wouldn't open. Yeah, right, here's so the monkey. I had to add a few washers underneath the monkey plastic to raise it up a hair so that it wouldn't rub and, right. and now it's working fine. Okay. Um, I mean, you know, I mean, if but you know what, this box, stuff's kind of expected because this this is a game for an operator to put on route and yeah. he's usually got to set it up a little bit, right? Well, you're, I mean, if you're looking at a at a thing like a pinball machine where there's a where there's hundreds of moving parts and everything, right. there's going to be little issues out of the box. Probably. Yeah, and and it was nothing that I couldn't fix. Right. With um, I'll, I'll, one thing I do have to say about Jersey Jack Pinball mm -hmm. is that I had I noticed the first issue at five o'clock on a Saturday. Yeah. And I called tech support. Right. And the guy called me back within ten. Minutes. That's awesome. It was amazing. That is really and cool. And they have one of the best, um, basically, tech pinball guys in the world working for them. Uh, huh. Lloyd Olson from RGP. Oh, Lloyd, okay. Lloyd the Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's their, uh, he's their tech support. Wow. So, so Lloyd called you? Lloyd called me, yeah. Oh, exactly. that's cool. And he walked me through some stuff, and, and I've had to call him about um, two other things, and he was, I mean, he's right on the money, and everything got resolved except for the, the coin door stuff, which right. we have to wait for the boards. But I, I do think in general, though, this is quality. Like from the finish of the cabinet yeah. to the way the metal's like powder coated with this glitter in it. And I don't know. I just, I, I'm so impressed with it, you know? I mean, a lot of people, There's so much stuff in this game. I mean, it's, it, here's I, that crystal ball. You can see the video in there. Let me see if we can. I kind of, I, I kind of look at this game as, as like 
the the Twilight Zone of our of this pinball generation right, right. now. You know. Yeah. Um, with lots of stuff to do. With lots of stuff to do, and and just uh, and a bunch of really cool toys. I, I think the crystal ball is fantastic. Yeah, I'm trying to make um, that some video come on there. I thought I was able to do it before. It's, there it's it is. Looping. There yeah. it is. So it, it's it's so. So good. you can see that video inside that crystal ball. Um, I w I would think though that when it's not playing video, they should have something in there instead of just a white. Static image. And that's something that's probably coming. I mean, like I said, the yeah. code is still early. There's a lot of things that they are right. working on. Um, and I, I, from what I understand, we should hopefully have a code update by Chicago Expo, which is in a few weeks. Okay. Um, it's a great time for pinball right now. We're lucky that we have two really good manufacturers. Yeah, no, I and, agree. And, and Jersey Jack, I think they're kind of, you know, raising the bar a little bit with what they're doing. Yeah. It was easier for them to do it, I think, and because... They were starting brand new. Yeah. Where, I mean, if Stern wanted to kind of come up to their level... Right. Uh, would they have to rework their whole line? I mean, would they have to start a new board system? Probably. Yeah, exactly. You know, it, it would take much more work for them... To get here, yeah. To get there. So, uh, you know, so, I don't fault them for that. But I think eventually they need to get somewhere along where we are here with yep. this. So, anything else about this game that's remarkable? I mean, I was, I'm just noticing, like, that they moved the speakers to the top, you know. Yeah, and there's actually a left, right, and center. Oh, the there speakers. is? Yeah. Okay. Um, is that right? Yep. There's a it, left, right, and a, where's the center channel? This, the center channel is actually, there's two inner sur, uh, inner speakers that uh -huh. is the center. Okay. Um, and then there's a big subwoofer on the bottom. There's an audio out jack in the back of the game. Okay. So you could hook it into a speaker system. Right. Uh, which is pretty cool. Yep. It has, it comes with the headphone jack. Unfortunately, mine's not working right now. Yep. Um, but it, I have, uh, it's, and that, the, the sound system was made by Pinnovators. Yeah, our friend Lorenzo made our that. Our friend Lorenzo, yep. Yep. So, um, and they actually make headphone jacks for Stern and Bally Williams games. Mm -hmm. but, but that's they, a uh, standard issue on yep, uh, Jersey it's a Jack. standard so. issue with all the Jersey Jack. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it's pretty badass. I, I have great. to say, you know, Wizard of Oz, it, it's a, it's a, I mean, it's a timeless theme. It's, it's, it's a theme that appeals to a lot I of mean, people. I mean, it is, it's I, kind of fantasy. I guess it works, you know, like, uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I and mean, what else are you going to do these days? It's either this or. And, and Iron you know, Man. I mean, I, I, think, <laughs> you know? I think what we've seen of mm -hmm. The Hobbit looks right. like it's going to be good. Yep. Um, I can tell you right now, after getting my hands on Wizard of Oz finally, yeah. I, I've already been paying on The Hobbit. Yeah. And uh, So we'll be back for I'm, that. I'm going to see that through. <laughs> I mean, there's no way I'm not going to get it now, yep. especially after seeing the quality and, and everything that they're doing. I, I have to. So... All right, guys, there you have it. Um, that is The Wizard of Oz by Jersey Jack, and it's been a long road for my friend Dan here. He's, but he, it's been worth the wait. He I, put I, his down payment on this about two years ago. February 19th, 2011. 2011, so that's that's over two years. That's, 32 months. That's 32 months it took to get this game here, but uh, I think it was worth the wait. Absolutely. It's definitely cool as hell, so. All right, guys, let's go back down to the basement. By the way, my Donkey Kong, one of my Donkey Kongs is here. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All right, guys, there you have it. That was the Wizard of Oz pinball machine. You know what? I got to say, I am impressed. I mean, it is a brand new game, so it's, it's kind of very easy right now to be excited about it because it's shiny and new. But you know what? I rather enjoyed that game. And I, I, I just think they did a lot of things right. I think the build quality is really exceptional. I think the LCD screen is what pinball needs right now. I think they didn't spare many expenses at all because that thing is loaded to the gills with stuff. I mean, there's toys, there's magnets, there's pop bumpers, there's flippers. I mean, there's so much stuff. Stuff that's been cut out of pinball the last 15 years or so and it's nice to see a return maybe to an era like Williams and Bally where they in the 90s when they were doing Twilight Zone and Adam's Family you know could we be on that track again so anyway that was cool I loved it I'm impressed so I'll definitely be going back to Dan's house and playing some more Wizard of Oz so anyway guys that's it for me today hope you guys enjoyed the vid again I want to remind you guys about my live show and tournament at Grinker's Arcade. My podcast, Arcade Outsiders, and me and my co-hosts, Sean and Joe, are going to Grinker's uh, October 18th 
and 19th of this month here to do a live podcast, live John's Arcade videos and an arcade tournament. So check it out at ArcadeOutsiders.com. I really hope you can make it. This is at Grinker's Arcade in Eagle, Idaho, which is just outside Boise. So, all right, guys, I think that's it for this video. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Click that subscribe button. Later, guys. Bye.